Look at all these people, milling about. They pretend to shop of such importance. How many of them do you think see the monotony in the lives that I do? Of course, I am one of them. We must finish our shopping quickly, so then we can be well rested for tonight. Then, we must wake up early tomorrow again. Just to go to work, to stare at these gray walls. Hey, how are you? Good, tired. Same. And we will have meetings to enthusiastically discuss new tasks. She should have given us more of like a prompt. More muted. Mundane, colorless tasks, and when the dust settles, and all is quiet, we know that we are dying inside. We as a society seem to be obsessed with muted colors. All of these black, gray, and beige scarves. They are like a complement to the emptiness behind our smile and noise. Have a great day. Thank you too. I don't wear scarves much, but I suppose red is a color I can stand. It is as though it's the first time I've noticed the sun. I feel like the scarf is pulling me, as if she's telling me to go somewhere. I have no problem with being a bit adventurous today, anyway. Everything else can wait for tomorrow. Beautiful against the water. All these people rushing behind me, barely stopping to look around. It's such a shame. Can they not see the color? Red knows where to take me. I've realized that all I have to do to break from the pointless drone of life was to find her and to follow her. You've shown me there's life to this world. I hope I will never let go of that. It looks like blood. At night, red is the color of death, and of fear, and of anger. And I am scared. Red is still as beautiful as ever during the day. But the night always comes. I cannot take this.
I will never ever see the world in color again. What have I done?